Hi everyone! This video is about the best beginner spider you could possibly get, the Euthalus species red, also known as a Chilean flame rump sometimes. Uh, it is a adorable, sweet, docile dwarf tarantula. One of the bigger dwarf tarantulas because it gets about two and a half inches which is about this girl's size. She's really small. But she's incredibly docile, very forgiving, enjoys walking on the hand, and I've never seen one give a threat posture or anything like that, no. And the vast majority of people that you will talk to that have one of these will tell you the same thing. It's, it's just the best. Um, my girl probably needs a molt. She's not quite as bright on that flame rump. But uh, the way you keep this one, I have like a small critter keeper here that's maybe 10 by 8, 6 inches or looks about 10 by 6. And uh, uh, plenty of room for her to move around and walk around. This one does seem to like to walk a lot, especially when she's out on hands, although today she's making a liar out of me. Usually she's moving around quite a bit. Even when I touch her abdomen, she's not prone to moving too much. She's just very trusting, very sweet, very docile. And this is a typical nature for this. Of course, specimens do vary, so I suggest you use a pen to test that. <laughs> Um, I'll make a more in-depth video later, but the, uh, about, I'm probably going to redo my beginner tarantulas video, because I made mine about two and a half years ago, and not a great camera, and I've got more experience now, so I'll be able to give you, um, a better, a better beginner video than I originally did, although that one seems popular enough, I guess. Anyway, this girl is incredibly sweet. She can be picked up. I, I don't care for the pinch grab method because she's so tiny. I usually just scoop my fingers underneath her and pick her up. But technically, and let me move this a second so I can show you, the way you would want to pick up a tarantula like this, get that focused in. All right? See how slow moving she is? She's just a doll. She likes to walk. Just put your hand out. She'll walk right on it. Or she'll stop. One of the two. But uh, for her, since I've only got one hand, she'll crawl right up here. Those two feet down, see her, as long as her chelicerae aren't up and she's not bending her body back, that's not a threat display. Just don't want her walking off the edge of the table. But I can, because she's so docile, I can just pick her up like that or just scoop her up like this. So you see she's incredibly docile. Flip her over onto her back. She has no problem. There's no stress body language there saying that she's not appreciating this. She does seem to appear to enjoy interaction. Though, of course, being... Um, small, you would want to be careful with that. <clears throat> You've got to be very, very gentle so that you don't hurt her uh, because she is so small. Um, and I don't recommend beginners getting babies because the babies can be like an eighth of an inch and they take a really long time to grow. It's better to get a specimen that's full grown or near full grown. Um, you can get them on arachnoboards by sellers. If you have a, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a pet shop that sells tarantulas, chances are they're going to have this or they'll be able to get it. So I would recommend that first. You might pay $30 for this all the way up to about $60. But trust me when I say it's probably the sweetest most docile spider you'll ever have. Now, I've got some other really great specimens that are 
just about as docile, if not as docile. But this one is consistently docile. It's consistently easygoing. It does tend to fast a bit. But once you understand that all tarantulas fast, and that what you're really looking for is the shape of the abdomen in comparison with the size of the carapace, that the abdomen should be rounded out and not shriveled, then it becomes easier to take care of all tarantulas because you won't freak out once you understand. Um, I've had my longest fasting tarantula was actually my grandma Stola Polkripes, who fasted about eight months before she ate. Abdomen was perfectly fine as long as you keep them hydrated. And there's my water bowl. You can also use water crystals. Um, now, that, I have only heard of one spider person that uses water crystals for adult spiders, but he's also kept tarantulas for 20 years, and I've kept them for two and a half, so I tend to say if he's kept them for 20 years with water crystals and says that it works beautifully, then I believe him. Um, I personally don't use them, but that doesn't mean I won't. I just haven't needed to because this girl... Sorry, let me get this into focus a bit. Were you? This girl is just... She's amazing. If you want something that you can take out and hold, this is the girl to get. Now, you will pay a little extra for her. So if you're not absolutely sure that you're going to keep a tarantula and you don't know if you want to touch it or not, you may want to just go with a G. rosea. They can be a little unpredictable, but as long as you handle them properly, you're not going to have a problem. The thing about tarantulas is learning to handle them properly, studying them, watching other videos of tarantulas, learning what the body language means. Right now, she's in a relaxed state. She's not moving, but her legs aren't all scrunched in, indicating that she's stressed. Um, if I do go to move her, she'll move slowly and surely. She's, this isn't a tarantula that tends to bolt on you. It's more of a slow-moving tarantula. Let's see, she's not concerned about leaving my hand lickety-split. Uh, she just doesn't care, really. You can handle her, you can not. So here's the cage set up. I've got about, oh, I don't know, an inch or inch and a half, two inches of substrate that she's moved around. And I've got this little hide. This one has a little notch in it. And when I put it down in here, she'll just uh, crawl right down into that hole. Let me get her before she walks off the table edge. Come here, baby. I'm not even grabbing her. I just sort of jet no pressure whatsoever and this is the only tarantula I have that I will pick up that way and it's because she's so tiny and so docile there's no stress in her when I do that but individuals vary um, you know if you're a new owner uh, you'll want to see my video overcoming fear of tarantulas even if you're not afraid of them because I do talk about tarantula body language in that and methods of picking up and things like that uh, but so basically you want to keep it the same way you keep a G. rosea um, I've got some sphagnum moss in here just because I had them at the time that I did the enclosure and something to hide under they do like to hide but they don't mind coming out either uh, water bowl but you don't want to mist around it or miss the the walls they like they pretty much like it dry but I always keep some water in there for hydration purposes pretty much as long as you keep water in there for any tarantula they're not going to shrivel up and die on you they do drink water they know how to drink water as long as you keep water in there they're not going to shrivel up unless they're sick or something like that but uh so I hope this has been helpful um, again, one other thing about this girl is she does fast. Uh, other uathlists that I've heard of 
don't fast as much as mine does, but mine eats probably twice a year. They do eat less than regular tarantulas because they're tiny, tiny. But what you want to do is make sure that the abdomen, which is that great thing on her butt where the spinnerets are, um, is as large or maybe a little larger than the carapace, which is, you know, where the eyes are and the fangs and the, her front leg. All the legs are attached to the carapace. So you want to make sure that carapace is as large or maybe a little smaller than the abdomen. Look at the cute little spinnerets. They're so cute. She's a sweet, sweet little girl. You can pet her. And she won't even move. Most tarantulas, when you pet their abdomen, they start moving. Now I'm very, very light. I mean, I'm barely touching her. But she just sits there chill because that's how awesome she is. Anyway, um, for my subscriber that asked about the youth Alice or you Atlas, I hope this has been helpful. And feel free to let me know if you have any additional questions. Um, this girl's name is Bitsy, by the way. Okay, everyone, have a good night.